Today I'm going to discuss Cantor's diagonal argument, which attempts to prove a set is uncountable by proving the assumption it is countable leads to a contradiction. And the way that proceeds is as follows. To begin with, you assume some set T with elements S1, S2, where you want to prove that this set is uncountable. So you begin by assuming the set T is countable, which means it's an enumerable set, which means that you can list it. So the next step is to list all the elements of T, and then finally show there is a member D of T which is not in the list, arriving at a contradiction. You assume all the members of T in the, are in the list, then you show there's a member of the list which isn't in T. So you want to find a D such that D is not in the list, but D is in T. For example, I'm going to, if I take a set T is equal to these three sequences, then I'm going to assume, I want to prove they're uncountable. So the first step is list them, assume they're countable. So here's the, here's the, the, the list of these three members of T. And then I'm going to cre create a member D or a sequence D which is not in this list. And the way I'm going to do that is the first digit of D is going to be the opposite of the first digit of S1. The second digit of D is going to be the opposite of the second di digit of S2. And the third digit of D is going to be the opposite of the third digit of S3. So that D, I've created an element D, which is not in the list. So, however, D001 is all, so I've satisfied this condition, D is not in the list, but D001 is also not in T, the set T. So therefore I, have, I haven't satisfied both conditions and I wasn't able to cre create a contradiction to the assumption these were uncountable, therefore, this is countable. Now I've gone through a couple other examples here. I've taken the set T is 101010. Then I've listed the members of T, which is here. Then I've created the, the diagonal element D by taking the first digit opposite to this digit, this digit opposite to that digit on the diagonal. And those are the only diagonal elements in this list, uh, there are no more diagonal elements, so I, I'll just, for the third digit of x, I will simply uh, take an arbitrary value x. Now, if you look at d, the d obviously is not in the list, it's not in one or two, and, but, so that I've satisfied this first condition, d is not in the list, however, d is not in t. As you, you can look, there's nothing, there's nothing else. So D is not in, in T. Uh, so uh, this set is countable. Then I've taken a set T consisting of three binary elements, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. Then I've created the list of these elements here, here, and here. In this order, I've created D following the same procedure and I can only do it for the first two elements because the diagonal ends here. I can change 0 to 1. I can change this 0 to 1. Come up with D equal 1, 1. Now, uh, in this case, because, not, because D, I couldn't go to the end of the, 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 the list because the list wasn't square, D hasn't been eliminated from, I wasn't able to eliminate D from the list. And indeed, D does show up in the list over here so that D is in the list and don't satisfy that condition. It turns out that in this case, D is in the list. Now, it's interesting if I, if I change the order of the list, the one, zero, zero, one, 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 and it, I get a different D, same procedure, give me a D equals zero, zero. Now, in this case, D is not, I've, I've found the D not in the list. However, D is also not in T, so I haven't satisfied both of these conditions. Now, what happens in Cantor's diagonal argument is T is assumed to be 
the set of all infinite binary sequences. And the objective is to show that this set of all infinite binary sequences is uncountable. And the way that is done is by assuming that all of the members of this set T are countable. So I write, for example, S1, S2, S3, S4, and so on. Then I construct the diagonal sequence D in the same manner where the first, the first digit of S1 is changed to the first to become one in DC, the second digit of S2 is changed to become one in DC, and so on down the line. Now, the argument is that I've constructed a D which is nowhere in the list, so I've satisfied this condition. On the other hand, the way I, I, I construct a D is as an infinite binary sequence, and so therefore it's in, the, it's in T, it's in the original set. So I've arrived at a contradiction by assuming T was uncountable, by assuming D was countable, therefore the conclusion is T is uncountable. But the problem is, I was a little la lax in, in how I described what, 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 where D fit in. For any, what, what I can, what I really have shown is that for any sequence in the list, D sub C is not in the list up to that sequence. What you can't show, and what I haven't show, shown, is that it is nowhere in the list after that sequence. So I, it's, this conclusion, D sub C is unequal to L, is not really valid as so far, but I can't ever show, arrive at this, con the only way I can arrive at this conclusion that it's valid for the entire list is if the list is square. But the list is never square because there are more elements than there are digits in the elements. So for example, for three digits, I have three digits give rise to eight, eight sequences. So if I, if I take three digits, this eight sequences are zero, 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 one, zero, zero, and so on down the line. So three digits give rise to eight sequences. So in this case, the list is not square. So if I try, if I if I try to work with this list and create a diagonal the, the diagonal element D, I'd be able to create the first place, the second place, and the third place. But then I can't go any further because my diagonal elements end over here. Now, this really is academic in a sense because it can easily be shown that this list with the uncountable element is really countable. And that's the important point, that the list with the uncountable element is countable. And the way I can show that is if I list the, the uncountable element here, uh, 110, 110, then I list S1, S2, S3, and S4, then I can use a standard diagonal counting procedure for a, an infinite binary array which proceeds as follows. You start with this element, go down to here, then go up to here, across to that element, diagonally down to here, down to that element, then diagonally up to there, across to there, and so on throughout the entire array, which doesn't have to be squared in order to be countable. The, 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 this, it, it can be rectangular, it can be infinite, it can be finite, it doesn't matter. This always lets you count all the elements in any array of this type. Now, if you can count all the, if you count all the, 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 the digits in this array, then you certainly can count the number of sequences in this array. And but, uh, just to elaborate up to, a, a, a little further, uh, what, what I'm saying is, if the, if you have a, a collection of sets and you have elements in this set, in this set, in this set, this set, and this set, perhaps you can't directly count the number of sets you have, but if you can count the number of elements or in each set, then you certainly can count the, the number of sets that you have. Uh, 
that's base, so, so basically what I have shown that is that Cantor's diagonal argument fails that the set which we assumed was uh, uncountable is really countable. Now, I, every, every version, every attempt to show that a set is countable that I've come across invariably boils down to this argument, even though it's often couched in, in heavy-duty jargon and, and highfalutin terms, pardon the expression, but if you plow through it, eventually the argument boiled that, that the set is uncountable boils down to Cantor's diagonal argument, which obviously fails. I'll leave that up for one second, because I'm give you time to stop it and look at it again if you want. And uh, I thank you. Mother?